the, the most consistent idiocy of certainly the last 10 years has been that it has become mainstream to acquiesce in the following line, which comes from much of the Islamic world, which to summarize is, say my religion is peaceful or I kill you. <laughs> and a lot of people in public life are simply willing to give themselves as easy a time as possible and go, okay, if that's the deal, I'd rather not get killed. I I'll go along with saying it's, uh, it's peaceful and so on. And I was doing a discussion um, recently, in a debate in New York uh, against a, um, a couple of uh, um, very, very, in this particular case, very decent, relatively progressive Muslims and with my friend Ayan Hassiani on my side. And it was very interesting because at one point they were where the argument was Islam is the religion of peace. And uh, Ayan and I were on the other side. May have guessed. And uh, um, it was very interesting because at one point, you know, uh, they were trying to make their case and, and it was just amazing because Ayan said, um, you know, the people who are trying to kill me are inspired by the book you keep citing, are inspired by this religion. And in a moment of fatal narcissism, one of our opponents said, utterly truthfully, said, you're not the only person on this panel, I am, that is under death threat. I've got an Al-Qaeda fatwa on my head. And I, and, you know, I said, well, hang on. <laughs> if Islam is such a peaceful religion, how come everyone on the panel, from all sides, even the ones saying it is, <laughs> are under threat of being killed. It can't be. I mean, if we were discussing Quakers, <laughs> it would probably be easier. One of the biggest jokes of the 21 century is that Islam is a religion of peace. Wherever Islam goes, chaos follows. Even moderate Islam is dangerous. Moderate Islam is the grass hiding the snake, whilst radical Islam is the snake hiding in the grass, looking for its next meal to devour. Islam cannot exist in a society where free speech exists. Just look at Saudi Arabia, a country ruled by Islam as an example. You aren't allowed to have church buildings there. You can't actively practice your faith out in the open. You can't speak against the government if you don't agree with their ways. You can't do much in Saudi Arabia as a non-Muslim from the outside. This perfectly represents Islam as an ideology. They want to demolish everything that isn't Islamic and have Islam be the sole standing ideology that will rule the world. They want complete control over how you think and what you do. Take a look at this to understand the Islamic plan to take over the world. It's the end of days. You're going to need the iron of Hisab, which represents Edom, which is the West, uh, Europe, and the Americas, to get intermixed with Ishmael, which is basically Arabs and, and Muslims. How in the world was this ever going to happen if not for this refugee crisis? At the end of days, you're going to have this intermixing between Esav, Edom, which is the West, and the East, which is the Muslims and the, um, and, and the Arabs, making this through this influx into the world. They're going to have a far larger birth rate than the indigenous people there, and they're going to sort of conquer by number. And there are many different sources for this where there will be many, many people killed and so on and so forth. So the idea of having these refugees come into Europe, it's no longer a matter of whether it's right or wrong. It's just simply a fulfillment of what it was meant to be all along. This is a fulfillment of you know, the Hazar and the prophecies. This has to happen and this is just another sign that we are nearing, you know, the completion of the sequence of the entire world. But we know one thing, right, that when it comes to the classic Rome, you know, which is Europe, they're finished. And you don't have to be a prophet or a great analysis for that. You have to open the view, the, 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 the TV or the internet and see that exactly what was prophesied then, that the sons of Ishmael are going to go and cause, cause havoc around the world. So France is completely barbecued, England is next. Now half of Europe is completely com uh, 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 half dead. Now look what's going on in America. So, you know, uh, now in a country near you. Asking what's going to be with the Goyim when Mashiach comes. Will they be destroyed and annihilated? Someone asked who cares. <laughs> okay. As a nation, they'll cease to exist, even as individuals. Every individual, most survivors, 
not only as a nation they'll cease to exist, even as individuals. In modern terminology, they call it cultural genocide. <laughs> they'll be annihilated. But Lent as a, they basically learn there's going to be cultural genocide. And you know what? The goyim, the goyim as they exist as goyim, that's oh, done oh, with. Oh, oh. Bottle and This is Islam. There's no more denying it. There is no society where true Islam can peacefully coexist amongst a free nation because at the end of the day, they want to turn the entire world into something quite similar to what Saudi Arabia is.